In the event of an outage scenario or a performance issue on a system or, or application, strong contextual information that's constantly being discovered as well as supplemented with unique business data to help quickly triage an issue and investigate problem systems, whether you simply only understand the IP address that was alerted to you by a monitoring system or potentially the host name that was reported with an issue from your performance and application monitoring tools. With that information in device 42, it can enable quickly analyzing from a specific IP address in this case, who does that IP address belong to? And we see that there is a host name server here and we can drill into that object to identify more details. And additionally, from our home page we make strong contextual information available through an incident management dashboard among many other dashboards within insights plus that will enable users to quickly understand potential problem areas about a system. With the incident management dashboard, we're now looking at the host name of that device and the IP address uh, within our report. And this is gonna give us many different information about that system all from one screen. Additionally, there might be multiple devices that we need to investigate and uh, look into, and we can do a search and add those in this view as well. So I know there is a related database to this web server that is reported to have a performance issue also, and I can pull that up. Now there's going to be a few contextual details that are going to be key to understanding a few different problem areas. So first we have our device overview, understanding what hosts exist, their operating systems, where they're located, and what customer department uh, might be impacted by that. Additionally, we have some system properties here. We can currently see that our Apache server has less than uh, only 10% of its local disk currently free, which certainly our storage impact and, and ability to read and write data as that storage decreases is gonna be a continuous issue. We can see all the different business applications and business services these systems are related to, both for the selected devices. So we're looking at both Apache and our database server. They're supporting benefits calculator, our finance app, custom application called Jupyter internally. And we can drill into these views right from here and see how is that business application structured. So we can quickly get contextual details of that business application, that it's expected to be the client entry point for our business application. And there's also a middleware server and database server here. So there could be a middleware we need to investigate alongside this issue. Additionally, your certificate details, we can see what cert is applied to that, the version that it's expired. And in this case, that certificate is also expired. Now, we certainly are gonna have security issues. This might be preventing users from actually browsing and navigating to these resources of this Apache server because the certificate is expired. The relationship map is showing us for these selected resources, all the various infrastructure dependencies. So we can see the power unit supporting that database, and that is supporting that database because of the hypervisor host that it's on. So it's calculating even multiple hops of dependencies through virtualization environments to show the end impact of your application workloads. Additionally, what databases other systems might depend on, the hypervisors or chassis, so we can see the ESX host that this database sits on, as well as what certificates and other components our Apache web server is dependent upon. Towards the bottom, we can see any recent software installed. So all this software has existed on this system for quite some time. So we know there hasn't been any issue with anyone installing any software that might not have gone through proper change control. And we could search and look for any potential other software packages. So we can look for what version of MySQL might exist on these systems and drill into different details across this table, as well as see all of the connections. So maybe there's a change in some of the communication occurring with this device. And we can look at all of the different communication, whether it's inbound connection or outbound connections, what port they're communicating on, who those IP addresses are, whether they have not been detected in some time. So we can see that the MySQL connection in this case, there has not been a connection detected for eight days. So if that web server was having an issue querying data and data was not being presented on the web server, we can go investigate that this connection has been down for some time on this port and see if that is corresponding to the outage scenario that we have as well. So we can specifically go to that database server, get a more detailed view of who else connects to that database and all the systems interacting with that and communicate to the application owners and technical owners potentially why that MySQL service might not be responding any longer.